storage is a big deal in the market at the moment. We're chucking lots of video, whether it's full HD, standard def, you know, ultra HD, and we need somewhere to store it. But there are particular challenges, particularly when it comes to this industry, to storing and managing that data efficiently and, uh, and safely, I suppose. Here to tell me more about uh, one vendor's approach to this is Alistair from Veracity. Thanks for joining us, Alistair. Now, Talk to me about the differences between IT storage arrays and storage infrastructures okay. and the specific challenges that this industry faces. Well, everyone thinks that data uh, is just all ones and zeros, and that's true, but actually uh, video data is entirely different from, um, from IT data because IT data is all about databases, all about read, modify, write, whereas surveillance is all about storing multiple channels sequentially for very long periods of time. And uh, the way the data, the data is uh, generated, the way it's stored, the way it's retrieved, the way it's deleted, the way it's managed, the way it's exported, are entirely different from the way IT is managed. IT data is typically about databases where you change bits in the database all the time. Surveillance data is about recording uh, real time uh, about storing it for a certain period from say 30 days to 120 days uh, and then deleting it and that's entirely different from the IT concept so what we have done is we've designed a system specifically for surveillance video um, it's designed to uh, retain that sequential nature of the of the uh, the data so video data and even access control data and metadata and video analytics data it's all generated in real time and so we store it sequentially because it's generated sequentially. And by designing a system that's uh, perfect for storing sequentially, uh, we end up with a system that has multiple benefits, um, such as uh, we extend the lifetime of disk drives by a factor of 20. We get 20 times the reliability out of disk drives because we write sequentially within the drive. We have a sequential filing system. Um, that takes out the vibration. It reduces the temperature at which it operates. And we write sequentially across the array. And we only operate the disks that are, um, that are running, that are writing. And all the di other disks are switched off. So we save power. We save wear. We save on electricity costs. We save on air conditioning. We save on the cost of the UPS to back it all up uh, in terms of power. And the total cost of ownership because of the extended lifetime and the low running costs, the total cost of ownership is vastly reduced. You've got some examples of your products here on the booth. So if you follow us over here, um, let's have a chat through, for example, this uh, cold store unit here. Talk to me who this is for then. Okay, this is for um, larger um, surveillance systems which require um, quite a lot of external storage. Uh, if you take, for example, the Middle East market, they require anywhere from 120 days to 180 days file retention of video. And now, of course, we're talking HD video going to 4K video. So the capacity requirements are going up and up and up all the time. And therefore, you need uh, high capacity scalable systems, but systems that don't scale to a stratospheric cost. Um, you've got to keep that under control. So here we have a system where we have uh, 15 drive bays, uh, we write to disks in a mirrored pair pattern, an overlapping mirrored pair pattern. Um, the system is very, very cold. Uh, it doesn't vibrate the disks, it doesn't wear them out. We get extended lifetimes. And the, one of the major advantages is that we can use the lowest cost disks available on the market. We do not have to use enterprise drives. We can take your standard desktop drives and get 20 times the lifetime out, out of that because you're mirroring those disks, you've still got the media protection in there. That's correct. We mirror during the writing process, um, uh, but we don't have to use twice the number of drives. That's the clever part of the writing pattern of the system um, because disks don't fail when you read from them. That's a passive process. They fail when you write to them. So we have mirrored writing security, and uh, that means that we can uh, have a disk failure, not lose any data, and just carry on writing. And it's a very elegant system from that point of view. 
And away from the hardware, how about the file system, assuming that's what it is that you're ultimately presenting to the application, is, is that part of what Veracity deals in as well? Yes, yes, we have developed a sequential filing system within the disk and within the system itself. Now that means that any uh, video management system like a Genetech, a Milestone, DVTEL, etc., uh, they have to be integrated to the system, so we provide an SDK to do that so that those VMS systems know they have to write sequentially or we take care of taking the data and then we, we uh, manipulate it ourselves and write it sequentially and provide it back to the system when, when required. And that's what we've done for a lot of the leading VMS systems around the world. So who are your customers then, Alistair? T talk to me about who Veracity does business with. Okay, well, um, um, a good example is uh, a lot of people will, will watch the Super Bowl this year um, at the San Francisco 49ers Stadium in San Mateo. Um, we've got about two, three petabytes of storage in there with cold stores. Um, one of our oldest systems is in the UK for Leeds City Centre. It's been in for six or seven years now. Um, we're at, about to do a long-term case study on that. Um, and then Hamden Stadium, um, hospitals, airports, Manchester Royal Infirmary, for example, um, a big insurance company in Tokyo. Um, there's, there's lots of uh, different uh, examples, but hospitals, airports, prisons, the, the sort of bigger sites, the city centre surveillance systems, the kind of sites that need uh, longer term file retention and have a lot of cameras. If SEC 2016 bigger and better than ever before, it's particularly busy on your booth right now. How's, how's it working out as a show for you guys this year? Well, we've been doing if SEC for as long as I can remember, and that's a long, long time. Um, it's, it's actually a very good show this year. Um, I was a bit skeptical about it moving to Excel when it did, um, but although the transportation is a little difficult, the, the, the venue is good and the numbers are up, and uh, yeah, we've been pretty satisfied. In fact, next year we'll be moving to a much bigger stand. Listen, Alistair, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, good luck with Veracity and uh, uh, good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Cheers.